Now to a new development in the ongoing exclusive series we've been bringing to you involving the Miami Seaquarium. We've reported about the ill health of its famed Lolita, and now we've learned investigators are back out at the property. Let's go to Louie right now in the newsroom with much more. Louie. And Calvin, at issue here is the transfer of the Seaquarium's operating lease from its current owners, Palace Entertainment and its Spanish uh, parent company, Parques de Unidos, that recently sold it to the Mexican-based The Dolphin Company. Miami-Dade owns the land the Seaquarium sits on and will not transfer that lease until the U.S. Department of Agriculture concludes its investigation into numerous animal welfare violations at the park. Meanwhile, the fate of Lolita hangs in the balance. USDA inspectors back at the Miami Seaquarium Tuesday following last June's scathing 17-page report citing numerous serious animal welfare violations, including feeding rotten fish to the animals, dolphins dying, and Lolita's crumbling tank. I can tell you that as part of that report, there is going to be recommendations about her tank. We know that her tank is deficient. Miami-Dade County Commissioner Raquel Regalado has been in contact with inspectors who say the final USDA report on this aquarium should be expected in the coming days. What I've heard to date is that she is not going to be displayed. Now we have to see what they can say about fixing the tank, about moving her. They have been told that she is in better health, but there's also questions about moving her in her delicate state. Lolita, also known as Tokate or Toki, has been on a 24-hour watch since last Wednesday night. Amid reports she has pneumonia, the Sequarium says the 56-year-old orca is improving and in a recent statement says she is constantly monitored closely by her team of dedicated and loving caregivers. But Regalado, not at all comforted by that. We were concerned about the qualifications. We're concerned about the intent. We're also concerned about folks covering up what may have happened in the past. On Friday, Regalado sent this memo to her fellow commissioners asking that a third party vet be allowed into the Seaquarium to examine Toki and that the new lease for the park should be amended to allow the county oversight moving forward. The county has a vested interest in making sure that all the animals there are safe and healthy and the best way to do it is with a third party. Well, so far, the current owners of the Seaquarium have not agreed to an independent vet coming in to examine Toki, so the only word we have on how she's really doing is coming from them. The Miami-Dade Board of Commissioners is expected to take up the matter at the next commission meeting March 1st.